Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my balcony. Um, I'm sitting on the um, bench that Andrew and I actually made. It is the first non-IKEA furniture that he and I made together, which is super fun. Um, but here I am with all my plant babies. Um, and then this one down here. Today I was going to introduce you to my plants and we're going to try and propagate uh, two of them. So the first plant I want to introduce you to ooh, is Archie, my, ooh, my alocasia, also called an elephant ear plant. He's very happy right now because I have been ignoring him ooh, and not watering him. Um, so that is my suggestion for alocasia plants. Alocasia plants like um, consistently moist soil, but they actually are water plants. Like they produce um, a liquid. Like when I water them, I'll notice that the leaves will be dripping. So they actually keep their soil consistently moist themselves and don't actually require a lot of attention. Honestly, you could probably use a little bit of water right now. Um, but yet they only need about four to six hours of sunlight to thrive and I don't get a lot of direct sunlight in my apartment because we are um, west facing but the way that the balcony is and the way that our windows are um, we don't really get hardly any sunlight but I love I love him one thing I will say about alocasias are they are very very sensitive plants like this leaf is pretty wilty right now um, and he, it might die and it might live and you don't really know. Um, like, so they turn yellow as they're dying um, and they don't have as much like boing, like resistance when you touch them and push on them. Um, and I'm really sad that that one might be dying and it could be because it's not getting enough sunlight, it could be because it has too much water, it could be because it has too little water. They're just like really sensitive, like you really have to learn your plant. Um, and get to know it, which is it's pretty difficult. So actually to take care of Archie right now, this little yellow leaf, we're going to cut that off because it's not um, good for him. So we're going to get as close to the root as possible and just make a cut and that's that. And then that part of the uh, stem down there will die and it will fall off. Um, so, oof. There is, he is so in the way right now. There we go, this is easier. Propagation for um, uh, alocasia plants is actually pretty easy, um, but it requires taking them out of their pot, shaking, you just shake off the excess soil um, and try and separate clumps from the roots. So you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but, um, but this is the part that you would propagate. Another thing I will say about him is that Alocasia um, Archie is very susceptible to um, fungus, so you have to be really careful not to overwater. I'm not a plant expert or anything. I did a lot of research before making this video, but what I would say about that is that for my plant, I'm more likely to let this one die than to add more water to it because I don't want to get root rot um, or add fungus to my plant. So. I'd rather see where it goes. Um, but yeah, that is Archie, my alopecia. Our next fern is quite a lot smaller than Archie. This is a fluffy ruffle fern, and I'm obsessed with him. He lives in our bathroom. Um, he is so stinking cute. Um, he actually he lives in our shower in our bathroom. Um, what's great about fluffy ruffle ferns is they love humidity, so the shower is a really great place for them, especially if your shower gets light. Our shower does not get any natural sunlight, so I bring him out every couple of weeks um, and let him live out, like stay out here for a little bit of time. Um, they do not like direct sunlight, the leaves will burn, so I actually got him out here a little too long, and he has a little bit of burning on his leaves, which I'll show you, it looks like that. Um, and what you do is you just literally cut those off. So we're going to grab my scissors and just cut it off at the bottom of the burnt point. 
So as he gets bigger, you can tell he's already leaning this direction. He'll kind of fall over and cascade down this pot. You don't need to repot them very often. Um, really only repot for propagation. Um, when you like separate out, because you separate it out pretty much the same as you do in alligator, you separate it out by the roots. Sorry if that flame is really loud. We live kind of in between MIA and F, like Fort Lauderdale, so get a lot of flames. Um, but anyways, yeah, you don't really need to repot him very often. Um, and he likes consistently moist soil. So he's actually a little dry right now. I'm going to get him some water when I put him back in his little home. He is considered a tropical angel plant. Um, he's very low maintenance. He doesn't actually have a name, so if you have a name suggestion for my fluffy ruffle fern, um, I would love to see that in the comments. So he loves being fed, which you can feed your plants with coffee. They love it. They love the nitrogen in the coffee. Um, you can also feed them with hair from your hairbrush, like when you brush your hair and hair comes out. But um, yeah, so that is my fluffy ripple fern. Super easy. I definitely suggest getting these for your bathroom. They love humidity and it's just so fun to like liven up your bathroom. And also, um, he is a um, really great source of clean air, uh, produces a lot of oxygen. So I like him. Our next friend is my golden pathos and I am obsessed with her. Um, she has perked up so much since I got her. So when I got her, um, it was really, really rainy and gross here, and her soil was so wet, and she was very flat and very like folly, folly. That's not the word. I'm, that's not what I'm trying to describe. Um, she was kind of cascading over, which this is a cascading plant, which is really awesome. Um, but she's a baby right now, so she's not that big. Uh, but yeah, like look at how perked up. Like she perked up so much since I got her. I wish that I would have like taking a photo or something when I first got in her. But yeah, her soil is pretty dry. It's a little, I watered her yesterday, but not a lot, just like half a cup of water, is not even. Um, and you can see that her soil's more wet down here and gets drier as it gets to the top. Um, so I'm not gonna water her again until the dry soil is like down to the bottom. I also, since there's no, um, I keep her in our room next to our TV. I don't have any drainage in her pot, so I have um, like any holes in the pot or anything. So I have rocks down here, um, which you will notice the roots will grow into those rocks, and that's when I repot is when the roots are all the way down to the rocks. Um, but right now I just use it for drainage, and then the soil will stay moist longer down here because um, it pulls water back up. So. Yeah, that's her. Oh no, she's got a dead leaf in here. I'll get you out. That was dead. Um, so yeah, I am absolutely obsessed. I love it because like underneath, she has some really, really big leaves. And she is actually one that we will be propagating today. Supposedly, she is really hard to kill. And I definitely don't want to kill her. What I know about Golden Pathos, Pathos's Pathi, um, they don't like direct sunlight. She gets about an hour of direct sunlight a day, but it's through her blinds. Um, so I try and close the blinds when the sun's setting so that she doesn't get any, but um, she gets a lot of indirect light in our room where she's sitting. Um, and I love, love, love her. Um, I'm gonna say that about her, I'm gonna say that about all my plants. I love them all, um, they make me so happy. She is a great air purifier. So if you live in a place like New York City and you're, um, you are in the like penthouse, you know, like if you're higher up, she is great because like there's a lot of smog in that area or like LA, um, even here in Miami there's some, there's a lot of air pollution, um, so it's great to have a pathos because they like love being in your air, so, and I love her. Um, so yeah, we will be probably in here today, so I'll talk more about her propagation when we get into that. This is Astrea, my orchid. Um, a lot of people consider orchids flowers. I consider orchids plants because they do rebloom and you can take care of them. They don't really need to be repotted like ever. Um, I love her. I love how big she's gotten. She did not have this many flowers when I when I picked her up. Um, but yeah, I'm not exactly sure what these are. If you know, I'd love to know. 
is this her roots or is this like a new plant that I need to like I need to tie up so that they can grow like straight up and down like I'm not sure at all and I'd really like to know care for orchids is a lot of times misunderstood some people like completely moisten the entire soil um, put it like some people put this in water for a while so that it can soak up water from the bottom I'm gonna tell you a secret my aunt told me and my mom's done with her orchid that she got last year and it's reblooming right now and I'm so excited to see if this one reblooms next year um, but I water her once every two or three weeks I really ignore her and she thrives when I ignore her I water her with ice cubes I put about three to five ice cubes depending on how many my hand grabs really um, down into her soil and I just leave it there and she is She's a happy little girl. I like her a lot. She actually splits her time between our guest room and our guest bathroom. If we have guests coming over, I'll move her into the bathroom because it kind of brightens up that space. But if we have a guest that stays with us and actually just any other time of the week or whatever, she um, lives in the guest room because she gets very good indirect sunlight in the guest room and they love indirect sunlight. She would burn in direct sunlight. So I try and keep her in the shade. If you have um, an orchid in your kitchen and your kitchen gets a lot of direct light, you need to hide her if you want her to grow. But I am gonna go put her back inside so that she doesn't get a lot of wind um, because I don't want the petals to fall off. The next friend I'm going to introduce you to is my aloe vera plant. Look at this plant. The pot that he's in is um, was 50 cents from a thrift store. It's actually a bowl for the kitchen. Like it's like a salad bowl. Um, and the plant I got from a thrift store. We are gonna propagate or try to propagate him today um, because I do want some aloe inside. I leave this pot outside because there's some worms and bugs in it and I really don't want that in my house. You might see aloe grow like huge with like really fat leaves. There are different um, species, or not species, there are different like class order family jam species. Yeah, there are different species of aloe in the family of aloe vera. So something that I know about aloe is if you touch it, you know that they're supposed to be full of that goo that we use on our bodies when it, we're like burned. Um, so when you touch it, it should be pretty firm. If it's not firm to the touch, it's really underwater and you need to water your aloe. Um, so aloe is a cactus, um, tropical cactus plant. So it doesn't need a lot of water, but it needs enough water for it to soak up the water into its leaves um, and keep it there and thrive. So yeah, that is my aloe story. I don't know a ton about aloe because I did just get this plant and I'm still in the process of researching, but I do know enough to, I've kept it alive for a month now. So from what I've researched, what you're supposed to do when you're propagating golden pathos is find an, oops, is cut just below the node of a stem, which is like a knot in the stem. All right. You can kind of already see that there are little roots forming. So this is what we're going to use to propagate. What I've read you remove the lowest leaf so it says four to six inches of healthy stem with four or more leaves on it. This one only has two, so maybe I did mess up. But we'll look again. Um, I am gonna try and do two of them in this little cup. They remove the leaf that's closest to the cutting. Then you put it in the glass jar, like so. So I'm gonna do that with a couple of them because I really, I really want more of this plant in my house. Here is my propagated um, golden pathos. I like her. She cute. Okay, I took off my sweater because it was burning hot because the sun is coming out more. Um, but the next plant that we're gonna propagate is my aloe and I'm gonna put it into this cute little um, low set pot. So I just put some garden rocks in the bottom for um, drainage. So I'm going to put on my gloves and get my 
potty mix. This is just regular indoor potty mix. Um, it's just a small bag. And we're just going to take some and put it in the pot. I'm not going to take that much of it. Um, but something that I hate that normally I don't get is when they have these little white things in them. Some people confuse that for fertilizer, but it's really just um, styrofoam to aerate the soil. And styrofoam is, I hate it, I hate styrofoam. It's so bad for the environment. So, kind of mad about that, but it's fine. I'm going to kind of like, oh, perfect. I have one that's, look, this is a pup. I didn't have to cut or anything. I just kind of yanked on them um, because it is a it is the type of plant that gives you babies. So this is a baby aloe that came from one of the mothers in there. Um, and what's like wonderful about this is it's already ready to be propagated. Like there's no cutting involved. And I'm gonna put it right in there. kind of support it with the with the soil. So they were in a pot that's pretty deep, so the roots are going straight down. And I'm planting this up in a pot that's very narrow, but the roots will reform. So don't worry about that. I'm just gonna support it, the roots with soil. Okay, so I believe that this is a propagated aloe vera plant. Um, Yes, I'm going to go get my spritzer so I can spritz it and I'm going to place it somewhere in my house um, that I'll show you in a moment. posting weekly or bi-weekly um, updates on those little plant babies. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. This one's done. <laughs>